Okay, I'm going to talk about Knight Rider on the commuter line. The uh, Mako 1, 1 watt, 100 lumens, and the Mako 2, 2 watts. They call it 130 lumens. Why is this exciting for MTBR? Because they're 40 bucks and 50 bucks. That's pretty cool, right? Two AA batteries included at that price. And what's really interesting is if you look at the lens, it looks like the lens of a $500 light. It's got a reflector and it's got a real Cree LED in there. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to give the, the commuter something affordable, uh, but something that they can use as well. A lot of these commuter lights are like be seen lights, but you can't really see with them. It's just a waste of time. And you can hardly be seen, really. Um, this one you can, be, you can see and be seen even during the daytime. So it's a good light. And then, you know, my Rider has a lot of experience with, with mounting. This one's not, uh, I'm not sure. I believe it's removable. Oh, there you go. So you can use it as a flashlight as well. But it's aimable. And the really cool thing about Knight Rider mounts is how easy it is. You put the bar here, click, tighten, you're good to go. So let me turn it on. Don't expect to be blown away, but it's not bad. It's more of a spot. It's got a little halo to it. And uh, Little bonus is a um, little side visibility. That's pretty important when you're on the road. So, definitely recommend the, the Mako 2 for 50 bucks. It's 2 watts. It's a lot. It's almost, I would say, it's double the power of the Mako 1. Uh, even though the lumens rating doesn't say that. You know, we measured this at 11 lux and the Mako 1 at 5 lux. So, your commuter, you want to get started riding at night or be more visible during the day 50 bucks that's not bad